Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we are going to take a first look at live presentations in Microsoft PowerPoint on the web. It just became broadly available this past week. It's full disclosure before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. So what is live presentations? It sounds pretty cool. It must do amazing things, right? Well, with live presentations, what you can do is when you're presenting a PowerPoint presentation, you can send out a link or a QR code to your attendees. And once they connect to that link or they connect on their phone via the QR code, what they could do is they could see your presentation that you're presenting on their phone, on their laptop, and they could go back to slides you've already presented. Maybe they missed a point you made and they wanna go back and review the slide. They could do that. They could zoom in on a section if they wanna see something more closely. They could also turn on captions for your presentation. So let's say here I'm talking to you in English. Let's say that someone in the audience, maybe English isn't their first language. They could turn on captions and say Spanish or German or Italian uh, from over 60 different languages uh, your attendees can choose from. And lastly, your attendees can also send you live feedback feedback during your presentation. Uh, so it has some pretty rich functionality. And today I want to show you how first off you could take advantage of it and how it works. So why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you firsthand what this all looks like. Here I am on my PC and to get to live presentations in PowerPoint, we need to head over to office.com. Now, one thing I wanna call out before we jump into this is that to be able to take advantage of live presentations, you need a Microsoft 365 subscription. So either you go to a school or you work for an organization that provides Microsoft 365 or you have a personal or family subscription. Unfortunately, live presentations is not available to free accounts. All right, so what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and click on sign in, type in your credentials, and once you sign in, you'll land on the authenticated version of office.com. And then what we want to do is click into PowerPoint. Now, within PowerPoint, uh, what you could do is you could either use an existing presentation or go ahead and create a new presentation. In this case, I already have a presentation open here, and I want to do a live presentation. To do a live presentation, what I'm gonna do is over here on the ribbon, I wanna click on the one that says slideshow. And here I have a new option included. I have my standard things like present from the beginning or from the current slide, but there's a new option called present live. Let me go ahead and click on this and this will kick off the live presentation. Now what you see is on this screen that appears, uh, I have the option of having people join my presentation. So one of the ways people could join the presentation is holding their camera up to the screen. So I'm gonna show a quick example here. I'm gonna open my camera app. It's gonna detect the QR code and then I could open this in the browser and this will connect to the presentation. Alternatively, I also have a link up here on the slide. Uh, so if someone's on a laptop or some type of device without a camera, they could connect to this link and this will also allow them to connect to the live presentation. Okay, so one of the things that you'll see now is I've connected on my phone and here on the slide on my PC, I see that one person has joined. And once all the people have joined or I feel like I have critical mass to get started, I could go ahead then and kick off my slide presentation. So I simply hit uh, the right arrow key and that advanced to the next slide. Now, one thing that I could see in the mobile app is I have captions appearing of everything that I'm saying. Now, as an attendee, what I could do is let's say that maybe Kevin speaks really fast or maybe English isn't your first language, you can follow along with the captions. Now what's kind of neat that I could do is down in the bottom left hand corner on my phone, I could click on English and then I could change the language. So let's see how I how my text is in German. Here's a quick German transcription. Let's see what it's like in French and here it is in French. And so I could jump to many different languages. I could even turn off the transcription if I want or here I could turn it back on. Now some of the other things that I could do as an attendee here on my device, I could zoom in if I want a closer look at the slide and if I let go, it'll return back to uh, the previous view that's zoomed out. I could go into a horizontal view where I could see the slide better and here too I could zoom in and zoom out and then the transcript appears on top of the slide. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's rotate it again. Uh, as I'm presenting here, I see on the main screen here it shows uh, text on top that says follow along at this address. So let's say someone joins my presentation later, they could still go ahead and join the presentation. Now here I'm gonna advance to the next slide. 
If I go back to my mobile device, so this is the attendee view, what's interesting now is now that I've advanced to the second slide, the attendee has the ability to jump back to the first slide or I could return back to the current slide. And so what's nice is it doesn't allow you to jump ahead in the slide deck, but you can look back at what's already been presented. Now as an attendee, one of the other things that I could do is let's say that Kevin's doing an awesome job presenting and I wanna give him some props for the good job he's doing. If I click on the smiley face, what I could do is I could send feedback. So I could do a thumbs up, a heart, a smiley face, clapping, or just kind of a questioning look. So let's go with a clap here. And then on my desktop, I see all these different icons appear on my screen. So here I'm sending a whole bunch of them through. Uh, so as I'm presenting, it's live feedback in terms of is this something that everyone gets or do people have questions about it? Uh, so it's a nice way to get feedback from your audience. Now back here on the presenter view, if I right click, I see my different presentation controls. So this first one here is the microphone. I could toggle that on or off. When I toggle this off, the attendees no longer get a transcript of what I'm saying because the audio is no longer being transmitted. Here I'm gonna turn that back on. I could also jump back in the slides, I could jump forward. Here what I could do is if I click on this, this will bring up my slide sorter. The attendees won't see this in their live presentation, but as the organizer of the meeting, I could see this and jump to a slide. If I go back down, I also have the ability to mark up the slide using a pen. Unfortunately, this does not carry through to the live presentation. I also have the ability to show the captions directly here on the slide. So for people who might be in the in-person audience, but here I can't change the language. Uh, it's set to whatever my default language is. And then here's some of the new functionality. When I click on the live presentation icon, some of the things I could see is my session is currently live. I have one person in the public session. Um, I could copy a link if I want to share that with additional people to get them into the session. Here I could show the welcome screen again. So I'll bring this up. Let's say that more people joined, uh, so let's say the meeting late, and I want to allow them to be able to hop in. I could bring this up again. And if I bring up the controls again, some of the other things that I could do is I could turn on or off audience reactions. Maybe my audience is sending me a lot of mixed signals and I don't wanna present that, uh, so I could just go ahead and hide that. Now once I'm all done with my presentation, what I'll do is I'll simply end the session and when I end the session, what this will do is uh, my audience will no longer have access to the slides or the transcript and the QR code and the link will both expire. And so now the session is complete and I'm back in PowerPoint and you'll see with the attendees, it'll also end the view for them. All right, well, that was a quick look at live presentations in PowerPoint on the web. If you think you might use this in the future, or even if you don't, uh, but you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get notifications anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other ideas in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.